Chapter 6 Fun with Give and Take. Now, let me give you a tricky word problem. Now, there is a fair, and at this fair, Priya's father had a bookstall for two whole days. He had coloring books, storybooks, and writing practice books for sale at this bookstall. So, on the first day, he sold 87 coloring books. He also sold 64 storybooks and 49 writing practice books. On the second day, Priya's father sold 73 coloring books, 91 storybooks, and 68 writing practice books. Now, here's the question. How many storybooks did Priya's father sell in two days? Now let's have a look at our table over here and let's add them up. So we know from this table over here that Priya's father sold 64 storybooks from day one. Plus, he sold 91 storybooks from day two. We need to add these two up to see how many storybooks he sold. So let's write this down. That's 64 plus 91. And let's start from the ones column. So we have 4 plus 1 equals 5. And we have 6 plus 9 equals 15. So now we know he sold 155 storybooks in the two days. Now here's the next question. Did he sell more coloring books than he sold storybooks in two days? So now let's look back at the table. Let's write 87 from day 1 plus 73 from day 2. And now let's go and add them up from the ones column. That's 7 plus 3 equals 10. So we write 0 over here and we carry over the 1 to the next column. So that's 110 plus 8 plus 7 equals 16. So he sold 160 coloring books in two days. So yes, now we know he did sell more coloring books than storybooks in two days. Here's the last question. How many more storybooks than writing books do you think Priya's father sold on the second day? Let's look at the table once again. So we know on the second day Priya's father sold 91 storybooks and 68 writing books. Let's subtract the two to know how many more storybooks were sold. So that's 91 minus 68. So let's go back to the ones column. So we have 1 minus 8 here. So we know we cannot subtract 1 minus 8. So we have to borrow it from the next column. Let's borrow 110 from the 9 in the tens place. So now 9 becomes 8 tens. And we have 10 plus 1 in the ones place now. So that's 11 minus 8 equals 3. And 8 minus 6 equals 2. So the answer here is 23. So we know that he sold 23 more storybooks than writing books on the second day of the fair. So we know that a lot of people like to read stories more than they like to do writing. Count to subtract. Priya went to a store and bought 52 lollipops. She was feeling very generous that day and she gave one to each of her friends. She has 16 left with her. How many friends got a lollipop? So let's subtract 16 from 52. This can also be found out by counting forward from 16. So we know that it's easier to count in jumps of 10. So we start from 16 and we jump 110 and we get 26. So from 26 we jump another 10 and we get 36. From 36 we jump another 10, we get 46. From 46, we jump a 6, and we get 52. So let's add this up. We have 10 plus 10 plus 10, so that's 3 tens, plus 6 equals 36. So 52 minus 16 equals 36. So now let's try another example. We have 84 minus 55 equals... Let's try counting forward from 55. Jump from 55 to 65 to 75 to 85. And then we jump a step back to 84. So here we have 10 plus 10 
plus 10, 30 minus 1 equals 29. So 84 minus 55 equals 29. Try to solve more interesting problems like this. Keep practicing them and you'll get better and better. All right, and see you later.